Okay, father's part. Four is Spider-Man 2. Now we're going to see Uncle Aaron. Hey friends, it's Danica. You are listening to the Danicast. Get this. Now the fastest growing podcast in New York. Hold on to your knickers, Jonah. We're coming for the crown. For you new listeners, welcome. The Danicast is your spot for real takes on real news about real people. Did y'all hear about this? It's the airstream. Single-handedly kept the trains running during the Sandman attack. Main track control booth got cut off by a power failure, and he had to patch in from his cell phone on a hotspot to keep the lines up. Thousands of people got evacuated to Queens and Brooklyn thanks to him. Dennis, we at Danicast salute you. Keep doing what you're doing. For a little crystal. So I tell the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. I haven't seen Marco in years. I would have been there for him if I knew he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But they said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. Marco's memory crystal. Let's get it. You guys waiting around for me? Crystal. Yeah, you can do that with the sand people. You can use the water to figure out who they are. I end up at this beat them off. And I'm already beginning to regret this. Marco thought no one else could help him. Feel for the guy.
Technically, you can cheese this one a little bit by just staying over the water. Gotta do this with the mask on. Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. thinking miles this is not on you we can't let him live up here it's just another kind of prison it's not that easy never said it was but sometimes you got to push the past away so you can make room for the future that's actually why I call need your help getting something could get it myself but Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. Getting some? How did you? And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on for you? How's school? College? Anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some Prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Active trigger to the work. Done. Not bad, kid. Another gate. Adaptive triggers on the PlayStation 5 controller. That works so much better. I can't pull it open from down here. You would have made a decent prowler. You should be seeing how to get inside now.
Got it. You wanna finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. This isn't the only stash. Ugh. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. I wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Ma. Miles, me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con. Bien. Sí, ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando. Estaba ayudando. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. Y before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out to the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Miles, up there, remember? Go on your way? Oh, right, that's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard... Whoa, let me call you back. Okay, y'all are done. Build up. What was the deal with those guys? I felt like they came out of a cult. Better tell Pete about them. Sorry, Genki. I'm back now, and I'm all ears. Up there, remember? You on your way? Oh, right. That's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. The city seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee, or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Thank you. 
needs to do a better job hiding their stolen tech. Disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective, other than their pension for animal skins. But one thing is abundantly clear. The spider did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind, right? There it is. We might have to move that somewhere else. I've been up plenty of these before. Don't mind if I do. I don't get how this one's so hidden, but... Sneaky. Uncle Aaron was right. They did come after his tech. Everything good, kid? Got a few unauthorized access attempts for my stash in the shipping yard. Yeah. That group that took Lee showed up. They must be real good if they found him. Even your dad wasn't able to. Ed? It was the first showdown between Officer Jefferson Davis and Prowler. Had to hide in that shipping container for hours just to lose him. Almost wish he'd caught me right then and there. Never wanted him to get involved. Well, I'm glad you're out of the game now. Stay safe, Funk. Same, man. All right. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. Man, I can't believe Mr. Atlas is gonna be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. New reproductive technologies are on the horizon. Check it out on this brochure. We've got preventative contraception information. Please consult your parents and your primary care physician. They'll help you find what's right for you. Yes, those are free. Remember to stay safe. Now, if you guys didn't know, this game, to interact with people, you see the white circle, you have to have the camera turn to them to actually really do it a lot of times. Miles, glad you made it. Oh. Hey, Mr. Sinclair. Oh, hmm. I just love seeing all this innovation in action. Oh, have you heard about the chemistry club? They're filling in while Miss Ferguson gets ready to demo the new robotics drone. She's running late. Presentation's on the main stage. Oh, yeah. I'll try to make it over there. Enjoy the show. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Miles, over here. Hey, you made it. I 
I want to talk to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? I just heard two words, missing in person. So I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. I gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I can find out more. Do you have any of her personal items? Yes, she left her phone behind. Is it unlocked? Have you seen any texts coming in or any... Here we go. Just some notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps, wherever she is. The students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Ferguson's missing. Oh, man. Sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. I wonder if I can find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man. Gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Send you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. I miss running with Tombstone. Hey, yo, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not really. I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work. And he asked for a phone call with you. Is, uh, now a good time? Thanks, Genki. Now is definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Genki! Hi. Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello? You're whispering. Is now a bad time? Uh, no. I'll make it work. That's me. Great. I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So, tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh, well, I used to do music production, but it's been hard to find time. Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable, trustworthy, someone people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh, do you want my email so we can stay in touch, or, uh... That could have gone better. Find him! And maybe I can make it back to BV in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person and clarify some things. All right, with those guys out of the way, let's see where that tracker signal leads. There she is. This glass looks pretty breakable. What makes you think I know anything about the I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine, but who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. You hide. I've got these guys.
my operation, spider brat. Your operation involves kidnapping. How am I supposed to let that slide? Too real, Spider-Man. yourself it's in my job description ready to go are you going to carry me sure i've carried people before as long as i can get verbal confirmation that if i throw up on you you won't sue me uh, consider this confirmation just try to <laughs> Thanks to Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. <laughs> you are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the Quan. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Well, we're going to call it here, folks. And this is another episode of Spider-Man 2. And calling it a night.